नमस्ते व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू अवर टेक्निकल चैनल गणेश पाइपिंग टुडे दिस वीडियो इज अ वेरी सिंपल वीडियो एंड इट इज डेडिकेटेड टू द डिफरेंट जॉइंट्स दैट आर बीइंग यूज्ड इन द इंडस्ट्री सो एज फ्रॉम द फ्रंट पेज यू कैन सी द वेल्डिंग एंड सम अदर टाइप्स ऑफ जॉइंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस uh of course when we talk about the pipe joining method broadly if we see there are two methods briefly the first is the permanent join and the second is the temporary join so let us try to understand what the permanent join importance of the permanent join and significance and the temporary joint for example when we weld together two different pipes it becomes a permanent joint we cannot separate the joint without cutting it without uh, the uh, without a physical damage in the dimensions so that is called as the permanent joint and the other type of joint is the temporary joint so from the name itself uh, you must have got the idea that the joint can be assembled together as a one single entity and it can be separated uh, without a physical damage to the two parts that is the two pipes for example and example of this type is the threading threaded pipes threaded joints for the pipe and the flanges so uh, this second type of uh, joint that is the temporary joints these are mostly preferred where we have a uh, <clears throat> requirement for welding is difficult uh, sorry i mean to say the welding can be a difficult task for example in case of offshore uh, rigs in oil rigs uh mostly the flange joints are preferred and threaded connections are preferred of course the threaded connections are not preferred for the high pressure high temperature applications because of the safety concern so mostly flanges flange joints are considered because whenever there is requirement to disassemble a given pipe if it is a welding then we have to undergo the grinding or the gauzing operation which will involve the spark and that is not desired on the oil well because of the safety concerns of the fumes of the flammable gases inflammable gases so here to avoid that case uh, it is recommended that we should go with the flange joints so that is the case now we will go ahead and see what actually how the different pipe joining methods are classified so as we have seen and the temporary and the permanent joining methods of the pipe so here we can see uh, the first method which is uh, given here is the welding so welding is the permanent joining method uh there is one more method that is a semi permanent joint semi permanent joint means uh, the best example is brazing but here i have omitted that from this video because uh, brazed the pipes uh, to be very specific this discussion is this discussion is related to the hydrocarbon or the high pressure high temperature piping process piping whereas the brazed pipes do not have the capability to withstand that pressure so that is why we have omitted them from this discussion so here we can see the here we can see the pipe joining methods the one is the welding in welding we have butt welded and socket welded then we have then the second one is the threaded joints threaded joints are mostly preferred not preferred uh in the process piping however some amount of threading is of course there and which is nothing but the 
uh, PI and TI connections, pressure indicator and temperature indicator connections, uh, the sampling connections, which are normally small bore lines, half inch to three fourth inch. So these are the threaded connections. Then we have something called as the flanged joints. Flange joints we have already seen. Uh, that is the weld neck flange, lap joint flange and slip on flange. So uh, we have also given uh, the link in our description about the special videos on flanges in which we have detailed these three different categories of flange in, de uh, in a more descriptive manner. So the user is advised to watch those videos for a better understanding. And the fourth one is the mechanical grooved joint. So this joint we are going to see in a next video, next part of this video. So what mechanical grooved joint is that we are going to see afterwards. So now we will focus on the welded joints. In welded joints, we have seen the socket welded connection and the butt welded connection. So butt welded connection, two pipes are directly welded together and uh, there is a groove which is made and directly one to one pipe to pipe welding is done. And here we can see this is the pipe and this pipe is inserted inside a socket and here there is a gap you can see and the welding is done from outside. So there is no direct pipe to pipe welding in between you have to add this uh, full coupling. This is called a full coupling. So why this is done because uh, in socket uh, socket welded connections or fittings are preferred for small bore pipes. So small bore pipe the thickness is comparatively thinner. Because of that, we cannot prefer the butt welding as the thickness because of the thinner thicknesses, the pipe may get burn off and quality welding cannot be achieved. So in that case, we go with the socket welded pipe connections. Now we can see this threaded pipe joints. So as far as the threading is concerned for the piping, uh, we can see there are two standards for the threaded piping, threaded pipe fittings and one is the NPT National Pipe Threads and the other one is the BSP that is the British Standard Pipe Threads. So in NPT and the BSPT there are two different types. One is the taper threading. So here you can see the taper threading that is the fitting itself is a, has a taper and this is normally used in case uh, where there are chances of leakage. Maybe the pressure is higher. So in that case we go with the BSPT. In hydraulic fittings, uh, this type of fittings are not so popular in the process piping but in hydraulics, uh, oil hydraulics we prefer these fittings. So the BSPT uh, it is having the threads are having angle of 55 degree and NPT the angle is 60 degree. Uh, BSPT stands for British Standard Pipe Tapered Threads and BSPT BSPP is British Standard Parallel Pipe British Standard Taper Pipe these two uh, categories are there uh, and this is the NPT the 60 degree angle. So these are the threaded connections what we have seen now and this is the flange joint. Of course as I discussed in the earlier slide the flange joints are discussed in more detail in more detail in the videos I have given the description I have given the link in this description. So this is the flange joint you can see this is the flange joint you can see and there are set of studs which are having the nuts on both the sides. Normally in pipe threading, uh, the flanges are never provided with the machine bolts. They are always provided with the studs. So we should take into mind the difference between these two, the machine bolt and the stud. 
instead you are having a complete bolt which is plain from both the sides there is no head hexagonal head and in case of the uh, machine bolt uh, you you have a, a head hexagonal head which is one piece with the bolt that is the stud uh, in case of this stud you have to insert two nuts so why this arrangement is in piping because whenever we have two nuts whenever the tightening effect takes place there is a equal force from both the sides on both the flanges so this is most important to make the joints leak proof so that is why whenever we come across flange joints for process piping stud are preferred over the machine bolts and uh, now we will talk about the mechanical joint so mechanical joint has a special application uh, you can see this this is called as the stub end this is a stub end this is welded with the pipe 1 and this is welded with the pipe 2 this stub end is also called as hub and this is the gasket which is in between the two and uh, these are the clamps these clamps this is welded with the uh, second pipe this is welded with the first pipe this is welded with the second pipe and this is welded with the first pipe when we fix the clamp from both the sides and we fasten these studs so what happens there is a taper you can see on these hubs and this clamp is also having a matching taper in internal taper inside so when we start tight tensioning the bolts when we start tightening them so this creates a complete compressive action these two are compressed together on this ring seal ring and a complete leak proof joint is formed this is how the mechanical joint works mechanical joints uh, mostly you can see on the uh, replacement or a substitute to the api 6a flanges which you can see on well heads they are very heavy duty flange you can see it is up to 30000 pound rating or 20000 pound rating such a big flanges so if you want a substitute for those kind of flanges then we can go with the mechanical joints uh, and how this mechanical joint is different from the flange and how efficiency is more for this of course there is a cost involved with this uh, that we will see in the next video so thank you for watching this video uh, i insist you to subscribe to our channel and put your valuable comments your suggestions in the comment section and we read all your comments so once again thank you for watching this video stay connected with us good day